Lisa, thank you. Leaders with the Wichita Police Department hosted a town hall tonight. They shared about the real-time information center they want to have up and running by next spring. The KSN's Derek Lytle attended the meeting. He spoke with the chief of police about the new tech advancements, but not everyone's on board. Derek is live from City Hall tonight with more details. De Derek. Yeah, Jeff, Julia, the new real time information center will sit on the fifth floor here in downtown at City Hall. Chief of Police Joe Sullivan tells me those advancements in technology used every day will help keep people and officers safer. It's going to be a game changer for, for crime fighting here in Wichita. Wichita Police Chief Joe Sullivan says they will soon have technology now used by departments across the country accessing the ability for 911 calls to be heard from officers in that specific area in real time. Also, flock gunshot detection in high gun violence areas, which can pinpoint the accuracy of a weapon fired and nearly the exact location. He says it's an effort to reduce crime. We're utilizing technology. We're taking the subjective human element out and making sure that the judgments that we make, the strategies that we devise, are data driven and that they're fair and they're objective and they're based on making communities safer. Karen Lev with American Civil Liberties Union of Kansas says after WPD's gang list settlement, not everyone is sold that these technological advancements will lead to fair policing. I think at the root of it, right, is this issue of trust and where communities are over police, I think there is an erosion of trust. She hopes there will be plenty of testing of these advancements before implementation and says there can be severe consequences consequences if not. The repercussions can be huge. They can lead to false arrest, over policing, over surveilling of people. And so we, we really need to make sure that that technology is right. Chief Sullivan assures privacy policies are being made and will be shared publicly. Now that gunshot detection is being tested right now in some of our local neighborhoods. Chief Sullivan tells me he's optimistic that gun detection system and the new real time information center can be up and operational by spring of next year. Here for you in downtown Wichita, Derek Lytle, KSN News 3. Derek, thank you. Sedgwick County residents giving input.